what is up everybody all right today we are going to do some fly fishing and we're fishing bishop creek behind the ford dealer um just kind of a generic spot it is the season right now where it's all catch and release barbless hooks so we're going to fish that little green midge i don't know if you'll see that it's like a green midge with a bead on an indicator way up here and see what we can get i stink at fly fishing so this will probably be really funny for you guys to watch because my casts are terrible and i don't know what that i'm doing so let's see if we can get on some fish all right there are a metric ton of trout here probably not gonna eat jack shit there we go nice just keep an eye on that indicator Oh, one rolled up on it. Just missed it. I watched. I could see the mouth go. This should be right over the top of them. So these fish might go for it. There we go. There we go. And we got another little brown. That's like my fourth one, man. I'm feeling like I can. Oh, look at that. He squeezed out of the net. My hole's too big. All right, let's see if we can just pop him off from here. Sorry, bud. Let's get you up high. Yeah, he took off just fine. We're going to make a couple steps forward here and see if we can get into the zone for some better fish. I saw some bigger ones up here. I could see them surfacing, but I can't quite cast that far because I'm not good at this. But this certainly makes me feel like I am. There's one nice one on that side. And there's one trout up there that keeps surfacing. I really want to get close to him. Oh, I see one. Oh, God, they're just coming by. I could see them up higher. That was a bad cast, a really bad one. All right. Dragon bottom, big school trout are coming through. Some are checking it out, some aren't. Oh, that's a nice fish. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Come on, come on. Stuck on the bottom there. <laughs> All right, let's get back up there. Watching the indicator go. Nothing. All right. There we go. Let's see if I can get over here to this bank and grab him. Oh my god, guys, it's a rainbow! It's a rainbow! Check it out. Beautiful little fish. Beautiful, beautiful little fish right there. Barely hooked an upper lip. Let's get you going, dude. What a beautiful fish. All right, I want to show you guys. Let's put my backpack on real quick. But like the the main road is like right, right over there. It's right there. Cars parked right there. And all I'm doing is I'll fish a spot, walk three feet, fish a spot, walk three feet. I'm we'll just all those fish have caught probably a dozen, maybe a dozen fish between here and the car so far. And all you do is walk a little bit and you can see the schools of fish. You fish them, you can tell pretty quickly if they're going to eat. You get five or six casts on them and maybe it, if you see them rile up and fly, then uh, you get one. But uh, 
bonkers how awesome this is. I thought I had to go to way the back country instead. You're right in town. This is uh, Bishop Creek and we're getting right on fish. It's so cool. Saw some real big trout up there. Oh, beautiful fish again. Look at that guys. Are you kidding me? We're gonna try this from shore. There was some big fish up here earlier. I'm trying to get the sink to pop down nice and soft. It's hard. So there's definitely trout all along this section. I can see them. They're just mostly small ones. I saw a school earlier that was lots and lots of big fish though. And that's kind of what we're looking for right now. Oh my God. I was not looking. That, I should have lost that fish 100%. All right, and just a beautiful little trout. That is a gorgeous little fish. Oh, green midge right there. I think it's a green rabbit here. Let's see if you can see this fish. I'm touching them. Beautiful, beautiful colors. What an amazing little fish. Wow, that one hit right on the drop. Right as it hit the water, I missed it. Damn it. I was not 100% ready for that at all. Oh, that one plopped down pretty hard. Yeah, real productive. Just high stick, gotta walk down the creek. Here we go. Oh yeah. Keep the wrist high, let the rod do the work. Rod up, and when that fish is ready, we're just gonna scheme across the surface. It's the perfect time right now. And we are on our biggest trout right now. Ooh. Check that one out. Get this guy in the net. Look it right there. Awesome. All right, new battery, new pot of fish. Oh, that landed right on their head. That probably's gonna spook some of them. Probably nobody's gonna rise up for that. There we go. All right. Dude, this is the best trout fishing I've ever had. <laughs> Look at that. So sick. Got sharp little teeth on these guys. Come on, hook. I do have a barbless hook, guys, but it, when you hit them right in the right, that tough spot of the mouth, your hook is still hard to get out. Like, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it is barbless. Been fully pinched off. Right on. I don't even know how many fish that is now. Alrighty, guys, we are wrapping it up. It was a great, great day here on Bishop Creek, right behind the Ford dealership in Bishop. We fished that little green rabbit hair midge underneath the indicator, two to three foot leader, just casting it up to the up, upper end of the pools, letting it drift through, and the fish were smacking it. If you guys are looking to get some trout fishing going right now, this might be the place to go. And look at how, how empty it is. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys back on the water next time.